everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So, I have something really cool today to, to introduce you guys to. And first of all, let's go back a little bit and start at the beginning, which we always need to do when you start at the beginning. And, um, you know, I'm 45 years old now. My body doesn't heal like it used to. It doesn't recover like it used to. And it all began, actually, it took me a long time to get my first injury bodybuilding-wise. But I was getting injuries while I was a professional wrestler that led me to having imbalances from those injuries, which led to other injuries from the imbalances of the previous injuries. So basically, it started with pro wrestling, and then it kind of continued over in a bodybuilding, but it wasn't until my 30s that I actually had my first injury. Now, I'm a big alternative medicine type person. Like, I don't like painkillers. I don't take painkillers, but I don't like medicines. I don't like antibiotics. I don't take painkillers. Um, I do believe in mass massage therapy, chiropractic work, stuff like that. And I think that stuff goes a long way towards keeping you healthy and making you just feel good all the time, right? Keeping your quality of life. So, of course, I've used massage therapy. I've used infrared light. I've used all these different types of things. Um, I've used the different scraping techniques with different massage therapists and stuff like that. And a big thing that's getting popular or has gotten popular in the last four or five years is cupping. Now, what is cupping? So cupping originally, I think it was in the Far East where it actually started, but it's actually worldwide now. And what it is, they use these heated cups to cause suction on your skin, which pulls the skin up, which helps with circulation, but also helps decompress the muscles and the tendons. So you have like this, this added healing benefit of using these heated cups. Now, of course, I've done acupuncture. I've done the heated cupping before. And, you know, those things are great. But you have to go to some kind of therapist that has, you know, some of the idea and certifications of what they're doing and understand how it works. You can't just sit there and heat up cups and stick them all over your body. It doesn't work that way. So that being said, I was really surprised to learn about this product from Aked Away. It's a home cupping system that's electronic. Now, not only is it cupping but it has the red light therapy as well. So red light therapy is completely, you know, it's an addition to, it's not just heat, but helps your body with regenerating tissue. Like it actually helps your body heal faster. So when they combine the cupping with the infra, the, infra, the red light therapy together, I was like, that's a pretty killer product, right? Now I don't know how well it works, that's the problem. Like that's why I got it. I'm like, I don't know if it works, but if this is something that could work, that could take the place of going to like a therapist to do cupping, you could do it at home, I mean, that's, that's a win-win situation all the way around, right? So I looked into it and he said, you should usually, you know, when they put the cups on, it's three to five minutes, they leave them on. And I got the product, I ordered the product. Now I'm interested to see how well it works and if it's gonna do the same thing that actual cupping does. So let's break into this bad boy and see what's going on. All right, so upon opening the box, here's what it comes with. So it comes with the user menu, obviously, right? And this thing right here, it took me a minute to figure out how this actually works. So this is the cupping device itself. It is electronic, has different settings and stuff on it. And this is the part that it cups. Now there's like a, a filter in here, like a cotton filter. I'm not really sure what that's in there for, but they have replacement cotton filters here that it comes with. So I'm assuming that after a while you have to replace those. The charging piece, so you can just keep recharging it. But this thing right here connects to this piece right here. And they say, you know, make sure you connect the lanyard to it. And then you push the button down and it locks on. And this you actually wear around your neck so that for some reason if the cupping thing falls off, if you don't have it suctioned right, it doesn't hit the ground and break. Which I thought was actually interesting because they know that people, you know, sometimes not may not get it right every time and they're probably dropping it. So this thing actually keeps you from actually dropping it, which is kind of cool. So let's try this thing out. And basically just turn it on here. All right. Oh shit, it's stuck to the counter. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what these uh, these different functions are. So this tells us it has dynamic cupping technology, red light therapy, and smart massage, all within the one product, right? So uh, charging port, lanyard hole, hard plastic cup, air inlet, air, so it allows air in there to make sure it stays cool, red light zone, suction mode indicator, mode control, suction movement light, intensity control. All right, so basically there's different modes on here, and the M is for different modes, right? So if I read this thing correctly, this one would keep the suction. Each one has a different mode where like it'll cause the suction to kind of release a little bit. Some are like harder than other ones. And then over here, we're gonna look at this piece right here. And this is the red light control on here. And this is, or is that the red light control? So, okay, this is the red light control and this is the intensity control. So we can push this and increase the intensity. We'll say, uh, we'll leave it set right there. And this will shut the red light on or off. We're gonna leave the red light on. So now that all that's left to do is just to stick this thing on and see what it does. All right, so let's see how this thing works. So I'm gonna take the lanyard, I'm gonna put it over my head like they said to do. Not that I think this thing is gonna drop off, but 
So I have the pec tear on this side right here. But you guys can see the hole in my chest right here from where I throw the pec. So a lot of this front delt takes a lot of the work that that pec normally should. It takes, it kind of gets overloaded. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this new eight away cupper. I guess we're gonna put it here. The diagram, when I looked it up online to show where you should put it, it's pretty much right in the middle of the delt. And then we're gonna push the power button. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but it, <laughs> my skin is completely sucked up inside of that. Let's see if we can get a better look at it for you guys. My skin is completely sucked up inside of there, and it's actually continuing to, I guess I'm put the other arm down. It's actually continuing to, to cause suction. Like, as it's not a super tight seal on it, so as it's kind of releasing a little bit, it's continuing to, to re, restructure that, that cupping like that and reseal it, which is interesting. So I guess the goal now is to leave it on here for about three minutes, which it actually kind of hurts. It's actually, to be honest, it's uncomfortable. Maybe the intensity is a little high, but you want this, this thing to work, right? And I know that you should have some like, well, for most people you have some bruising. It looks like I'm actually getting some bruising already. It's interesting, but the red light is on. So we're getting the red light therapy in there as well as the cupping. The damn thing works. Now, of course, I'd have to use it over time to make sure that, you know, it, it works like the other cupping. Obviously, if it's causing the same type of reaction, then you're going to get the same type of effect. But this is pretty awesome. I guess you could buy multiple ones and stick them out at the same time if you wanted to get them done at the same time. But, um, yeah, this is interesting. So, I mean, I don't need to sit here for three minutes so you guys can see that it actually sucks to you for three minutes. So when you're done, you just push that same button on top and it releases... Oh, and there you go. You can see the actual bruise, just like if you were doing cupping. Interesting, right? Now, what I can feel right now is it feels almost like it's got a little bit of a pump. And if you look at this shoulder compared to the other one, you can actually see it's fuller right now from the little bit of pump that you actually get from it. So it actually did pull blood. It pulled blood inside the muscle like that, like cupping does, which is really interesting. And again, you can set the... Uh, the intensity so i also have problems with my forearms with tendonitis let me see if we can just do the same thing here yeah once it sucks on you're good like you don't have to hold on to the thing anymore yeah pretty much once it's stuck on now you can also use some oil it shows to i guess help with the suction i said to use an essential oil Make sure it doesn't pool, meaning like you don't have like a, a thick layer. It's just a thin layer of it, which uh, it reminds me of like the blood pressure cuffs, the automatic blood pressure cuffs, how they, they inflate. Kind of reminds me of that, the way that it works and keeps adjusting itself. And then when you're done, you just release it. It's a slow release too, which is interesting. And you can see that, you know, if I left it on there, I would have a bruise on there too. So all in all, you know, it's a very interesting product. And, um... Like I said, I'm always into that alternative medicine stuff, but like also for home stuff, like using stuff at home. And the way you clean it is this thing just actually screws off here. So if you have the oil and stuff on it, you can wipe down the motor stuff itself. The cup itself, you can just wash it with soap and water, but it also has that, um, that cotton ring on the inside, which I believe is the seal, you know, seal between the actual, um, the piece, the electronic piece and the cup itself. It helps seal it somehow, which is really interesting. But overall, it comes with everything you need, and it looks like it's a, a really well-built product, too. It feels solid. Like, when I picked it up out of the box, I was like, damn, it's kind of heavy. Like, it, you know, it's not very cheaply made. But I do see how, like, if you drop this thing and you broke a piece of it off, it's not going to function properly. Like, if you broke a piece of this cup when you dropped it, you know, like, this thing, I think the, the actual machine itself, the, the technical part of it, I think if you drop this thing, it'd be totally fine. It looks like a big hockey puck. But this thing, I could tell if you drop, because this has weight to it. So if you drop this thing and this thing hit the ground at like this and broke the cup, it's obviously not gonna work. So that's why they have the lanyard kind of stuck in there on it, which I think, you know, at first I'm like, the lanyard's kind of stupid. Like I feel stupid putting the lanyard out of my neck, but also if I just, you know, purchase this thing, I don't want to break it either within the first 24 hours, which I drop shit all the time. So for me, the lanyard is pretty, maybe I should put a lanyard on everything I own, that way they don't drop shit like that. Maybe, maybe that'll work. But all in all, you know, I have to use it for a little while, but the eight away cupper, you know, it actually does work like cupping. It's got the, the red light therapy, which is a bonus to it. And uh, I'm really interested in using it 
you know, to, to help with things like the delt that over gets overworked, you know, my forearms, I get the tendonitis, the things that normally I would have to go to a massage therapist or an acupuncturist or somebody that does cupping, you can actually do it at home, you know, so I'm going to give this a try for a while. And it's just another tool to have in your, your toolbox of things that help keep you healthy, mobile, and keep you in the gym training and keep you happy, being plain and simple. So as far as, you know, long-term use, I'm not really sure how long the uh, the unit itself lasts. Um, it comes with a warranty. It's got, you know, it's rechargeable, so you don't have to put batteries in it. Um, I did not charge it when I took it out of the box, and it's ready to go. It's 100% charged. So you can use it right out of the box like that. But overall, I think it's a really innovative product that uh, that looks like it can help some people. So even if it just helps one person out there that needs to have this done more often than paying someone all the time to go to these things and have them done when you can do it at home, you wind up saving a lot of money too. So bottom line, it's like a win-win-win all the way around. So check it out, guys. Aked Cup the Cupper is no code or anything. I'm not sponsored by this company. This is not a sales push. This is legitimately something that I want to use. And uh, many people are doing cupping, so I thought it might be interesting for you guys too to have like a home cupping device that uh, that would actually work. So yeah, for now, I'm going to say just the way it's built and the way that it actually works, two thumbs up. <laughs> Miles Street and I approve this message, and we're out.